Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 20th of 2025 is titled Milky Way over Mauna Kea. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the obser one of the observatories of Mauna Kea out in Hawaii. And up above in the sky, we see a number of different objects, including our Milky Way galaxy stretching across the telescope dome just above it there, and then off down toward the lower right. Now, our Milky Way is our own galaxy as we see it from within. And we see the bright star clouds and dark dust clouds that make up the plane of our Milky Way galaxy. And the, that, the dust is denser regions of material that blocks out light. So this would be a very bright area if it were not for the dust. So the dusty regions, that excess material blocks out enough of the light to keep our Milky Way from being overly bright. Now, around it, we see, of course, other stars within our galaxy. And in fact, everything we see in the sky, with very few exceptions, in fact, maybe only the Andromeda galaxy and a couple of other small galaxies, are things that are within our own Milky Way. And that includes really everything you see in the image here. Now, the bright reddish color is caused by hydrogen gas in various areas. When hydrogen gas is excited by stars, then it will cause them to glow and it gives off a very distinct red color. So we see some of those out up above the Milky Way there, but we see a lot of those red emission nebulae within the Milky Way as well. Now we can see several other nebulae there as well, and you see some bluish color. The blue color is a little bit different. That's actually caused by dust. It's what's called a reflection nebula, and it is actually starlight being scattered off of dust grains around a hot star. Now it looks blue because the dust is really good at scattering short wavelengths like blue light, but not so good at scattering the longer wavelengths of red light. And it is also blue because the stars tend to be bluer in color, so they're emitting a lot more blue and ultraviolet light. So we can see several of different nebulae around here scattered around, including the emission nebulae in the red, reflection nebulae in the blue, as well as our own Milky Way galaxy stretching across the image. Now, we've looked at other images of galaxies, and when we see our Milky Way from the inside, we really don't get a complete picture of it. And that's because we're stuck inside it. If we could travel the tens of thousands of light years we needed to, say up above or below the plane of our galaxy, we could look back down on it and see the grand spiral structure going out from the central regions. So here, while we're looking toward the central parts of our Milky Way, what we really see is just that portion of it that we can see from inside. Lots of the rest of our galaxy is hidden from our view and can never be seen. But we can get a beautiful sight like this in a longer exposure taken in Hawaii near the telescopes of Mauna Kea. So that was our picture of the day for May 20th of 2025. It was titled Milky Way over Mauna Kea. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a sun station. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.